The movie begins with lifeguard, Mitch Buchanan, going to his job at the beach, in Emerald Bay, Florida. He notices a guy parasailing in the water, but the guy accidentally hits his head on a rock. Mitch quickly jumps into the ocean and swims to save him. After that, Mitch goes for his morning run around the bay. Along the way, he runs into Sergeant Ellerby, a local police officer and beach patrol officer. They often playfully tease each other about being law enforcers in the area. While running, Mitch notices a little boy picking up a pouch of the drug, Flocka on the beach. Mitch takes it from the boy and examines it. Mitch has two fellow lifeguards, Stephanie, who he sees as the best after himself, and Parker. Ronnie Greenbaum has a crush on Parker. While Ronnie is playing with a toy craft on the beach with his friend Dave, Parker comes running up, in slow motion, to wish Ronnie good luck in the upcoming qualifiers. But, Ronnie gets nervous and can hardly put a sentence together when she's around. Matt arrives at the bay on his motorcycle. He tries to introduce himself to one of the potential lifeguards, Summer, but she ignores him. He then meets Mitch and Stephanie, informing them about his new role on the team, he also mentioned his two-time Olympic gold medal status. However, neither Mitch nor Stephanie are impressed. Mitch makes it clear that Matt has to prove himself for the job, and Matt responds by giving him a piece of his mind. At the same time, Victoria, who is now in charge of the Huntley Club, on the beach, is having a meeting with Councilman, Rodriguez, about a real estate agreement. As a gesture of appreciation for his assistance, Victoria presents him with a new watch that her associates also wear. Ronnie is at the beach with Dave, munching on baby carrots, when he spots Parker once again. In a funny twist of events, he starts choking on a carrot. Quick-thinking Parker performs the Heimlich maneuver to help him, and Ronnie manages to spit out the carrot. But, things take an embarrassing turn as Ronnie ends up with an awkward situation. Before Parker can notice, Ronnie tries to escape by jumping onto a wooden lawn chair, but his groin gets stuck between the boards. The situation gets even more awkward when Mitch comes to assist and realizes Ronnie is stuck. To make matters worse, beachgoers start recording the scene. Mitch humorously suggests pulling it out like a tooth, but Ronnie, in a panic, attempts to run and ends up falling face first, breaking the chair and finally getting unstuck. Mitch gathers all the aspiring lifeguards for the obstacle course test. However, Matt decides to skip it, thinking he doesn't need to prove himself. Summer enthusiastically tackles the course and successfully completes it. Ronnie faces challenges, initially struggling because of his weight, but he persists and doesn't give up, catching Mitch's attention. At the end of the day, Mitch declares Summer, Ronnie, and Matt as his new trainees. Mitch subjects Matt to a unique training course, which includes doing absurd tasks like lifting hefty truck tires and using refrigerators as weights. Meanwhile, on the nearby pier, two kids accidentally fall into the water, and their mom jumps in after them. Mitch, Steph, and Parker rush to rescue them, and Matt, wanting to be a hero, joins in. Matt attempts to save the mother, but she ends up hitting him instead. Mitch and Parker successfully rescue the kids, and Steph brings them to safety. Unfortunately, Matt's efforts make him look a bit foolish in the process. Mitch expresses his concerns about Matt to Captain Thorpe. Thorpe explains that Matt used to be a talented swimmer but lost his reputation after vomiting in the pool during a race following a night of partying. Matt's spot on the team is part of a community service agreement, and a strategy to ensure the bay doesn't lose its funding. Despite Mitch's reservations, he's told that he has to work with Matt as part of the deal. During the night, Summer and Parker discover Matt sleeping under the pier. Parker leads him to what he thinks is Steph's place, but it turns out to be Mitch's. Mitch allows him to stay, assigning him a couch next to a fish tank where a miniature Mitch figurine keeps an eye on him. Matt starts his training with Mitch on the beach. At one point, he nearly steps on a poisonous sea urchin, but Mitch intervenes and points it out, preventing a mishap. Out on the water, Rodriguez informs Victoria that he made arrangements with his connections for the real estate deal. But, because he didn't deliver on time, Victoria sends her two tough guys, Frankie and Leon, to intimidate Rodriguez. In an attempt to stand his ground, Rodriguez tries to call Victoria's bluff by mentioning that he's aware of her involvement in drug trafficking. Unfazed, Victoria leaves her men to handle the situation with Rodriguez. While the team continues their training, Victoria arrives and has Mitch introduce her. She extends an invitation for the entire team, including the trainees, to an open house at the Huntley, later that night. Shortly after her departure, Steph receives a call about a yacht on fire at the beach. The entire team, including the new trainees, rushes to the scene. 
Mitch jumps onto the burning boat, rescues three women, and discovers an unconscious man. Matt attempts to help underwater but becomes trapped in the fire. Steph uses her jet ski to splash water around the flames, and Summer pulls Matt to safety. Upon returning to the shore, they find out that the rescued man is Rodriguez, and unfortunately, he's already deceased. Ellerby arrives, and despite Mitch's attempts to share their findings, Ellerby insists they stay out of the police matter. We learn that Dave is working as Victoria's tech guy. Trying to leverage this position, he attempts to blackmail her to keep quiet about Rodriguez's murder. However, Victoria has her own plans in mind. The team gathers for lunch and discusses the discovery of a dead body, along with finding more flaca on the rescued women who were under its influence. They decide to attend the open house at Victoria's place, hoping to gather more information about her and the situation. That evening, the team attempts to go undercover at the open house party. They assign Matt to keep an eye on Victoria, but he gets Victoria alone and ends up not gathering any useful information because he's more focused on getting drunk. Meanwhile, Ronnie grabs everyone's attention with a wild dance, distracting Victoria and allowing the others to gather information. Mitch confronts Matt about his failure at the task, and Matt responds by cursing Mitch out and asserting that he's just a lifeguard. In response, Mitch embarrasses Matt by scaring him into falling into a pool, where he vomits again, and everyone witnesses it. Matt tries to play it off by suggesting shots, but he ends up passing out. Meanwhile, Frankie and Leon dispose of Dave's body by taking it on a boat into the sea. They cover the body with meat chunks before dumping it into the water to attract sharks. The following morning, Mitch has a heart-to-heart -heart with Matt. He acknowledges Matt's individual skills but points out that he struggles to work as part of a team due to his selfishness and self-centered attitude. Matt pleads for a second chance and reveals that he noticed Rodriguez wearing the same watch that Victoria's henchmen have. The trio goes to the morgue, attempting to continue their investigation by posing as hospital staff. In the morgue, they locate Rodriguez's body and autopsy files. They discover that there was no smoke in his lungs, indicating he died before the boat caught fire. Mitch instructs Matt to check under Rodriguez's scrotum for anything suspicious, but it's actually a ploy to embarrass Matt, by taking pictures of him inspecting a deceased person's private area. While investigating, Summer spots Frankie and Leon approaching. In an attempt to hide, the three squeeze into the drawers, but Matt ends up atop a deceased elderly lady. To add to the discomfort, he has fat from the corpse dripping onto his face. The henchmen open Rodriguez's drawer, swap out an autopsy file, making it seem like he died in the fire. Matt, bothered by the dripping fat, panics and jumps out, accidentally getting hand sanitizer in his mouth. Their cover is blown when Summer's phone rings, and Leon snatches it, before fleeing with Frankie. Leon tosses Summer's phone to Frankie, and Mitch goes after Frankie, while Matt and Summer pursue Leon. Mitch, on a jet ski, catches up with Frankie, who is attempting to break into a family's home. The two engage in a fight inside a little girl's bedroom after Frankie damages the phone. Eventually, Mitch manages to incapacitate Frankie by placing a diaper bin on his head and knocking him out the window into the pool. Mitch, Matt, and Summer meet with Sergeant Ellerby, who expresses frustration and orders them to stop interfering in the case. Captain Thorpe joins the conversation, and despite the trio's attempts to explain their evidence against Victoria's men, they admit that all the evidence has been destroyed. Thorpe warns Mitch that he will be fired if he continues the investigation. Unfortunately, Frankie manages to escape any consequences by complaining to the police about Mitch's actions. Mitch notices the Huntley receiving fish from another company, and suspects it's how they're smuggling Flocka onto the beach. To investigate, he and Matt go undercover and sneak into the Huntley's kitchen, where they discover Victoria's men dealing with drugs. Mitch tries to report the situation to Ellerby, but Ellerby is preoccupied with the discovery of Dave's body, partially torn up by sharks. Meanwhile, Thorpe listens in as Mitch makes the call to Ellerby. Thorpe summons Mitch to his office to terminate his employment. To everyone's surprise, Thorpe appoints Matt as the new lieutenant. However, Mitch suggests that Stephanie, who knows the beach as well as he does, should get the position. Thorpe dismisses Mitch's suggestion and despite Matt's attempt to decline, threatens him with a negative community service record. The team expresses dissatisfaction with Matt taking the position, despite his efforts to defend himself. Despite not having everyone's support, Matt takes charge on the beach. He catches a thief using a cooler to steal people's belongings and tackles him, prompting the thief to flee. Upon inspecting the cooler, Matt discovers a bag of flaca. 
He then enlists the help of Steph and Parker to return everyone's stolen items. Matt visits Ellerby's office, ostensibly to offer him a chocolate smoothie but also to discreetly use the cooler to take a file from his desk without Ellerby's knowledge. Meanwhile, Mitch takes on a new job at a phone store and distances himself from the rest of the team. Just when it seems like he's ready to give up, his original mentor, the original Mitch, approaches him. The elder Mitch inspires him to persist in his work and not give up on himself or his team. Matt shares the file with Summer, revealing images of Dave's corpse. Ronnie recognizes Dave and informs the rest of the team that Dave mentioned working with Victoria. Later on, Ronnie demonstrates how he can hack into Victoria's servers, unveiling her grand scheme. Victoria aims to privatize the beach to eliminate competition and distribute drugs covertly. The guys inform the ladies about this dangerous plan, prompting everyone to unite and work together to thwart Victoria's nefarious intentions. The team sneaks onto Victoria's yacht during a party. Steph, Parker, and Ronnie discover Murray Chen, a real estate professional, kidnapped by Victoria for her scheme. Meanwhile, Matt swims underneath the boat and uncovers Victoria's drug smuggling operation in the hull. Matt surfaces to instruct Summer to contact the authorities. But, when Matt returns to the boat, he is ambushed and knocked out by Frankie. The henchmen transport Matt to another boat and imprison him in a cage. Just as Victoria is about to harm Matt, she discloses that she bribed Thorpe to frame Mitch, resulting in his termination and removing him as a threat. Victoria then shoves the cage into the water, witnessed by Ronnie and Parker. As Matt seemingly resigns himself to his fate, he is unexpectedly pulled out of the cage. To his dismay, he discovers that it's not Summer reviving him, but Mitch. Victoria is preparing to escape on a helicopter. Mitch instructs Ronnie to handle the fireworks display to distract the helicopter pilot. After a moment of panic, Ronnie gains confidence when Parker kisses him. As the fireworks light up the sky, Mitch and Matt engage in a fight with Frankie and Leon. Frankie is knocked into the water, and Victoria shoots Leon dead for his failure. Mitch and Matt go after Victoria, but she shoots Mitch in the shoulder, causing him to fall into the water. Despite his injury, Mitch resurfaces just as Victoria holds Matt at gunpoint. Simultaneously, Ronnie and Parker discover a significant red button. Ronnie presses it, activating lights near Mitch. Matt disarms Victoria by hitting her gun, making her run out of bullets. Mitch grabs a Roman candle, delivers a one-liner, and waits for Ronnie to hit the button, launching a firework at Victoria and obliterating her. Mitch reveals that he used a sea urchin to boost his adrenaline and get back up. Despite his triumphant moment, Mitch acknowledges the need for medical attention. Back on the shore, Mitch receives medical treatment, and Ellerby arrives to apologize for doubting Mitch's claims. Thorpe shows up to berate Mitch, but Matt intervenes by punching Thorpe in the face. Ellerby arrests Thorpe and Frankie for their involvement. Later, Ronnie and Parker become a couple, and Matt and Summer appear to start a romantic relationship. Mitch officially instates the trainees as lifeguards on the bay and introduces them to their new captain, Casey Jean, who enters in slow motion. The film concludes with the team doing their iconic slow motion run on the beach, only for Matt to take a tumble on the sand.